Hey guys, it's me, Gabe. So it is 6.48 at night, 6 o'clock at night. So I decided, you know, tonight I'm going to... Basically, tonight is like a... It's a school night and all that stuff. So I had my teacher look at my YouTube channel and stuff like that. And subscribe to my channel, so he's gonna he's watching my videos and all that stuff. So I noticed one really cool thing today. My friend introduced me to this. It's um, it's a YouTube channel called Big Rig Videos. It's basically about this guy. He drives his Dodge uh station wagon car. He drives his Dodge, and he basically interviews, like, truckers and stuff like that on the road. <laughs> right now, he's uh, interviewing a, a guy. He's, uh, he's a little bit older. He's, like, 47 years old. Anyways, he's, the company he drives call, drives for is called 3 Bar, Bar C Incorporated. So, I started watching his videos today. I'll show you real quick. I'll lower the light just a little bit. These are his videos. Basically, he draw. He basically. I'll show you real quick. This is the YouTube channel right here. Big rig videos and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you this real quick. So right now I am watching one of his videos. He's basically doing an interview with one of the guys. He drives a. 1975 Kenworth uh, twin stick shift uh, truck. I will show you guys maybe. I don't know. But for right now. Excuse me. For right now I'm going to look for a magazine to read to y'all. So. Because like I said I had my teacher subscribe to this channel. Mind you this is a teacher in my school. So he. He, he's taking an interest in what I read about and all that stuff. So he's like, he's like, what do you do? I'm like, I mostly read. And that is it. So basically he asked me, he's like, hey, he's like, you know, he's like, you should do something. A little I told him, no, I'm not going to do anything different. I told him I can't. I'm like, I wish I could, but I don't. Because I've had plenty of people, I've had plenty of people in my class, you know, who watch my channel and stuff like that. So, basically they ask me, oh, why don't you do something different? I tell them, nah. So the thing is, is I basically, my teacher was talking to me to today and all that stuff. And he was kind of saying, you know, uh, how he, um, how he, um, I, because I'm dating a girl right now in my class. And he, I'm dating a girl in my class right now. So he's basically telling me. Oh, he's like, you know, I don't want no physical touching, no none of that. And you know, Scott, this is to you if you watch my cha watching my channel. You know, it's like I I wanna tell him, you know, hey, you know because he you know, he keeps on saying he thinks because me and my girlfriend and my friend and I, we're both in a relationship with two girls right now that we both love. And he basically was saying like, oh, he's like, he's like, you know, he's like, you can't be touching, hugging and all that stuff. And, and you know, it's like, I want to tell him and you're probably, I'm going to tell him in this, you know, what Scott, you know, Scott, what you, this is to Scott, what Scott, what you have to realize is we are not little kids. We're over 20, 20 years old, you know. We're all, we're adults, you know, we, we do what we do and, you know, and we shouldn't have, cause like, this is the way I look at it right now. You know, this is the age where teachers think, you know, they can take place of the parents and all that stuff. 
and, and this is what teachers have to realize, you know, they're not our parents. They can't tell us what to do, what we can and can't do. And, you know, I, I really got offended by what you said, Scott, you know, and this is to my teacher, you know, his name's Scott Thornton. And this is to him, you know, Scott, what you have to rise, like I said, we're older, we're adults. All right, we're not little babies, none of that, no. So basically what I'm trying to say here is, you know, that um, what people have to realize is kids nowadays, you know, we generally do not listen to teachers. Oh, I'm going to clean this class. You know, what teachers have to realize is, you know, Kids, you know, even in high school and in programs and stuff, they have to realize, you know, they can't tell kids what to do, you know, what they can and can't do. Because what teacher, this is to, you know, what teachers think, you know, they think, you know, just because they're in that child's life, they can basically tell them what to do and what not to do. And, you know, and teachers have to realize, you know, this is the age, you know, teachers think they can tell the children what to do, you know, and mind you, this, I'm not on school grounds, you know, I'm on school grounds, but it's like, they have to realize, you know, me and my girlfriend, we're not sitting there making out, you know, kissing or going, no, 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 you know, we're not doing any of that, we just give each other a hug and all that other stuff, you know, and hold hands, you know. And, you know, what people have to realize is you can't tell that to you can't teachers, you know, to teachers out there, you know, a lot of teachers can be easy going. Some of them do. Some of them don't. But to a lot of them, they are. But a lot of them, they aren't because it depends on who you're talking to. Like, you know, my teacher, Scott Thornton, you know, he. He's a really good guy. I appreciate his help and all that stuff, but he has to realize, you know, I am not a child. I am a 20-year-old man. You know, and, that, and what people have to realize is you can't tell somebody what to do and what they can't do because, you know, teachers think, you know, this is the age, you know, where they can tell Kids, like students and everything like that, but take the place of the parents. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. A lot of students think of their teachers as their kind of their parent figure. But it, it, my advice, you know, to a lot of teachers, you know, do not take the place of the parent. Okay, because... You know, if you, like my mom, I told her about that. She told me that is none of his goddamn business. He should not be intervening and thinking he can tell you what to do. Because my mom tells me, you know, if you love this girl, you know, do it, you know, do, do what you're doing. She's like, because she told me, you know, teachers can't tell you what to do and what you can't do. Because teachers think, you know, this is the age where they can tell the students what to do and take the place of the parents, like I said. They think they can take the place of the parents. And a lot of parents, you know, they have come to the realization that, you know, hey, you know, you know, even because a lot of parents during the COVID pandemic since the kids were at home, they started catching on what the teachers are doing in the classroom. And my care owner that I live with, he doesn't realize my teacher is telling me what to do and what I can't do. Because, and then, you know, telling me I'm a liar and all that stuff. And it's like, I know what I say, you know. Because he's like, Oh, you don't do this. Oh, you don't do that. No. My teacher thinks I don't work for a living. I do. I work. I work for my mom. That's about it. But, you know, it's like because 
When I read these magazines, what y'all have to realize, I read them out of my out of the pure joy of telling y'all a story that I have read about. You know, especially like on my phone, on my tablet, on you know, on this, and you know, and my teacher acts like you know he can because. You know, today, my friend and his girlfriend and my girlfriend got into a fight. You know, not into a physical fight, but, you know, they they were arguing. And it's like, I'm sitting there thinking, you know, because they put the blame on my girlfriend because she told them they can't hug each other. And like I told them, you cannot jump the gun. They're like, what do you mean? I'm like... Do not jump the gun. I'm like, it's not my girlfriend's fault. I'm like, because like, you know, Scott, it's like I'm telling you, you need to stop being a protected parent, dude. You're you're not our parent. You cannot tell us what to do. All right, because that is not right at all. And I know I say this because, you know, my teacher, he's going to tell me tomorrow. I bet you tomorrow if I even, if I post this, He's probably going to be like, oh, well, you can't say that. I'm, t I'm telling you now, Scott, I have freedom of speech, dude. I listen to all the amendments, man. <sighs> eBay. But no, it's what people have to realize, you know. Today I went and took my driver's t permit test. Uh, I failed. So now I've got to wait for a while to go do it again. And now I have to, and then I went and saw my uncle today, who's a Vietnam veteran because he had one of his PTSD moments. I don't know. But anyways, he, he's all right, but he's fine. But what, you know, like Scott, you have to take, you, you, you really have to back off, man. Cause like I'm telling y'all and I'm going to tell, and you know, if Scott, if you're watching this, you know, you need to back the fuck off, dude. Because I don't like it. You know, you're getting all up in our business acting like you're our parent telling us what to do. You can't do that. You know, you really shouldn't be doing that because that gets that's what gets students upset. And that's what, you know, that's what teachers have to realize, you know. You cannot get into a student's business. And, you know, because that ain't cool, you know. Scott, you, you have to take into account you're you're not our parent. You're you're our teacher. Okay, you teach us, and you know you can't tell us what to do and what we can't do. You know. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for tonight. Make sure you hit the subscribe, like, and comment, and hit that notifications for the next video. Have a good night, everybody. Bye.